The Zenos family lived in a rambling old house called Zenaju. Xavier was a xylographer, which meant that he worked all day engraving words on wood. His wife Xenia made lovely Zeno gardens, gardens in which all of the plants, like cactus and sagebrush, thrive in dry weather. The Zeno's children, Xander and Xylana, were twins. Xander played in the band at school with his best friend Max Pax. Xander played the xylophone and Max Pax played the sax. Xylana Zenos loved to bake. Every day after school, she and her best friend Trixie Pixie extracted juices, examined ingredients, and cooked creative cookies. They hummed along as Xander and Max played duets on xylophone and sax. In the corner of the kitchen, Xing Xing Zenops, their pet parrot, would sit on her swing and sing. My, something smells lovely in here Xenia exclaimed exuberantly, breezing in the kitchen door one sunny Saturday afternoon. She kissed her daughter, waved hello to Trixie Pixie and wandered out to work in the garden with Zephyr her pet Zenurine Armadillo at her heels. Xander play the box song she shouted over her shoulder as she slipped through the screen door. Box. Box, exclaimed Xing Xing Zenops excitedly. Everyone in the Zeno's family loved the box song. Max blew a long note on the sax and Xander thundered a dramatic chord on his xylophone. Then they played the box song while Xylana Zeno's, Trixie Pixie and Xing Xing Zenops sang along. We know it's unorthodox, but we really love our locks. And better still we love to box, and gift wrap too. Wood box and work box and tool box and tinder box. Bobby Fox collects socks, so why don't you? We're standing on our soap box to save all the muskox. Eliminate the foul pox and cow pox too. Show box and shadow box and sauce box and sun box. Bobby Fox collects socks, so why don't you? Xavier came into the kitchen with Ziffer the Zenurine Armadillo to claim a cookie from Xylana, as Xander and Max played a musical interlude on xylophone and sax. Xenia came to the back door to listen to the last verse of the box song, carrying a nailing xanthium plant in her arms. We know it's a paradox to outfox a jukebox. To laminate a letterbox and boombox too. Postbox and pillbox and pepperbox and pegbox. Bobby Fox collects socks, so why don't you? We don't mean to flummox the champion chatterbox. Who handles the hatbox of Mrs. Laughaus? Juicebox and junkbox and loosebox and lunchbox. Bobby Fox collects socks, so why don't you? Everyone shouted out the last line at the top of their voices as Xing Xing Zenops flew around the kitchen exclaiming, Bobby Fox. Bobby Fox. It was lunchtime on Sunday when the Zenos family realized that Xing Xing Zenops had gone missing. The Zenos family rushed around the house, calling frantically for Xing Xing. Xavier looked under the bed in the master suite while Xenia climbed up to examine the attic. Xander rushed into the living room to look among his comic books and Xylana explored the creepy corners of the cellar. But Xing Xing nowhere to be found. Where can she be? Xenia wailed woefully as the family met back in the kitchen. Suddenly, they heard a cackling cry from outside. The Zeno's family started in surprise. The cry sounded like Xing Xing Zenops. But what was she doing outside? The family burst out the back door and looked wildly around for Xing Xing. There she is cried Xander, pointing toward the top of Xavier's xenography workshop. Bobby Fox collects socks. Xing Xing Xenops chirped cheerily from her place on the roof. Xing Xing Xenops, you come down, cried Xylana. Xing Xing blinked at Xylana. Then she flew over to sit on a nearby statue of Xenophon, the Greek philosopher. Xenia tiptoed up behind the naughty Xenops parrot, hoping to catch her by surprise.
Xingxing stepped sideways to avoid Xenia's outstretched hand. Then Xingxing Xenops saw Xavier sneaking toward her from the far side of the statue. Xingxing squawked and flapped away. Up and up she flew, until she landed on a thin branch at the peak of a tall pine. Bobby Fox collects socks. Xingxing exhorted exuberantly from the top of the tree while the Zeno's family exclaimed in frustration. Now what do we do? Xander cried. We need a ladder Zilana said. I'll get one from the garage. That ladder in the garage is too small said Xavier gloomily. We will have to call the fire department and ask them to rescue Xingxing Xenops. It wouldn't work Xenia said. Xingxing Xenops would just fly away as soon as the fireman climbed up to her perch. But don't worry. I have an idea. The Zeno's family huddled around Xenia as she whispered her plan. Xingxing Xenops watched suspiciously from her place in the pine. She couldn't hear what Xenia was saying. Her perch was too far away. But Xingxing Xenops could see what was happening in the yard below. Xingxing watched the children hurry into the house while Xavier and Xenia set up several deck chairs in the Zeno garden. She saw Max Pax and Trixie Pixie trot up the lane and gallop through the front gate of Zenaju. She smelled wonderful baking smells wafting from the kitchen while Xavier and Xenia discussed the climax of the Codex Caper, a movie they'd seen recently at the Duplex Theatre. Xingxing fluttered to a lower branch in the pine tree, feeling peeved and perplexed. Why wasn't anyone paying attention to her? Couldn't they see Xingxing cutting a caper in the tree above their heads? Xingxing watched Zifu the Zenurine armadillo nudge through the back door and climb into Xavier's lap. Xingxing hooted harshly in annoyance. She wanted to sit in Xavier's lap. But she wasn't ready to abandon her tree. Zilana came out of the kitchen carrying a huge plate full of chocolate chip cookies. Xingxing perked up. She loved chocolate chip cookies. A moment later, Trixie Pixie came outside with a tray. On the tray were tall glasses full of milk. Xingxing loved milk even more than cookies. Xingxing fluttered to a lower branch, watching eagerly as Xilana handed around chocolate chip cookies and Trixie gave out glasses of milk. Xander came through the back door wheeling his xylophone on its travel trolley followed by Max Pax carrying his sacks. Xingxing reared back on her pine perch and flapped her wings excitedly. Bobby Fox collects socks. Bobby Fox collects socks she called exuberantly. Starting with a dramatic role on the xylophone, Xander Zenos and Max Pax played the introduction to the box song, and everybody sang. We know it's unorthodox, but we really love our locks. And better still we love to box and gift wrap too. Wood box and work box and tool box and tinder box. Bobby Fox collects socks, so why don't you? Xingxing Xenops fluttered down from the tree and landed on the back of XYPHY other Zenurine armadillo, who was still curled up on Xavier's lap. Xingxing fluffed up her feathers until she was as round as a ball and sang her favorite song at the top of her voice. She was louder than the whole Zeno's family combined, even with the help of their friends. Xingxing didn't bat an eye when Xavier Zeno scooped her up with both hands and marched her inside the house. She was too busy singing the box song to care about her capture. Hurrah, shouted Xylana and Trixie. The plan worked. Should we stop singing? Xander and Max asked as they played the musical interlude between the first and second verse. Bobby Fox collects socks, so why don't you? Xingxing called from the kitchen. Everyone laughed. There's your answer, said Xenia Zenos, Xingxing wants you to sing. And so they did.